This is the Church of St. Paul in the Desert. Well, what did you think about the lesson today? Did you listen? What did you think about the lesson today? Did you hear the lesson that Lydia read about Jesus going up in the clouds and the disciples just standing there looking at him? Can you do that? What's the... I'm trying to talk to you about the scriptures and there's all of these phones going off. <laughs> Isn't that rude? No, it's not rude? What do you think? Is your phone going off? No. Okay. So what I was trying to talk about was Jesus going up in the clouds. That's pretty exciting, isn't it? Have you ever seen anybody go up in the clouds like that? Mario, you haven't seen anybody? Jaden, you've? No. Okay, what? Birds? Well, you've seen birds, right? But it's not like your dad. It's different if your dad went up in the clouds, right? Okay. So what I was trying to say is that that experience of Jesus going up in the clouds, that's what we call the ascension. Uh-oh. Hello? It's God. Yeah? Well, I was busy. Okay, I... Yeah, that's probably a lot more important. Thank you. I love this kind of help with my sermon. Goodbye, sir. Uh, Ma'am. Uh, I thought it was so rude when all the phones rang. I'm, I'm kind of trained to do that. Have your parents... Do your parents feel like it's rude when the phone rings in the middle of something? No. I'll shake your head yes so that everybody... Okay. But it was God. Do you wonder if all the other phones ringing were God trying to talk to the person who was there? Well, today we're talking really about prayer. Have you heard the word pray? I see you're, you're doing the right thing. Okay, right. Do you pray? Um, you pray at night. Um, I always pray at night, but I also pray at mealtime. Me you do it mealtime? Yes. Yes. What do you say at mealtime? Thank you, Lord, for the time I've Amen. Okay. You really got a short, sweet one. I like that. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for the food I'm about to receive. Amen. Now, pray. There is an even shorter one. It goes, Benedict. Benedicamus. It's, it's, it sounds Spanish, but it's actually Latin. Benedict. Benedict. Benedicamus. Can you say that? You're trying. That's okay. In English, it means, let us bless the one who blesses us. Well, because it's cool to say it in Latin. I mean. Yeah, okay. So. Here's the thing. We're, what is prayer? Now, Mario, you've answered. Let me, let me let somebody else answer right now. What do you think prayer is? Okay, Ramon? Prayer is praying to God, but what is the praying part? Can, can I give you what I think the answer is? Mm -hmm. Prayer is talking to God, right? Prayer is talking to God. You talk to your parents, don't you? Do you talk to your siblings, yeah. your sisters or brothers, maybe even cousins? Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, you talk to them. So prayer is about talking to God. Part of talking to God is listening. And so God had to get my attention because instead of paying attention to what God wanted, I was being worried about the fact that there were phones going off in the middle of my sermon. And so God had to interrupt me and let me know, hey, Andrew, I want to talk to you. Why are you blaming God? Well, I hadn't thought about that. Um, that I'm something to ponder. I'm, I'm really not, but God was, actually, God was actually trying to help me. And God was saying, 
praying is also about listening. And so God was asking me to listen to other people, and God is asking me to listen to God. And God wants each of us to feel free to talk. The way that we can talk with our parents because we know they love us, God wants us to be ready to talk to God because God loves us. And God wants us to listen to, to whatever God might have to say to us. Okay? Are you bored yet? No. You're not? Okay, good. Well, I'm done. The message is prayer is talking to God. And God likes to get our attention because God loves to talk with us. Amen. <laughs>